how are we going to talk about probability rules first one is unconditional probability so probability of event irrespective of occurrence of other event so it's kind of unconditional is not dependent on any other occurrences so that's what it is conditional probability is uh, denoted by p even first bar even b the way it's 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 a red dash p a given b so probability of event a given the b event has already occurred so probability of one event is dependent on probability of another event uh, third one is joint probability uh, it's also called multiplication rule and and rule so probability of occurring of both the events in this case p a b so probability is equal to p a p a given b multiplied by p v so in this example let me give you an example so there are two events event b that i'll go to school tomorrow and event a is i will have my my breakfast so the probability of uh, having my breakfast in school so that's kind of event a b so p b represent i'll go to sp school tomorrow and p a given b represent me having breakfast tomorrow given that i'm i'm in school so that's example of p a b we can rearrange this equation and we can say that p a given b equal to p a b divided by p b let's suppose p a and b both are mutually exclusive like either i'll have my breakfast tomorrow or i go to school tomorrow so in this case p a b probability of of happening both the occurrences is equal to zero because these two events are mutually exclusive in case uh, event a and b are independent uh, so uh, then p a given b is uh, is equal to p a because a is no longer dependent on b so p a b is just simply a multiplication of uh, p a and probability of p b so let's talk about another rule which is which is a uh, which is also called or rule and uh, where uh, in this case we are saying either event a will happen or event b will happen so probability of event a or happening or probability of event b is equal to prob probability of event a plus probability of event b minus probability of happening both the event it's easier to explain using a venn diagram so in this case let's suppose we have a set of a and we have uh, set b so what we really saying if you if we want a or b so we want to cover the entire area but we don't want to cover double count the middle portion so p a or b is equal to p a plus p b minus p a b we are subtracting the double counted which we did at the time of uh, calculation calculating the area so in this case our in our case we are talking about pr probability so we subtract p a b the end rule of probability from this equation so in case of uh, total probability rule we talked about it earlier so if we have a set of mutually exclusive and exhaustive events our total probability will be equal to 1 so in this case either i'll go to school tomorrow or i don't go to school tomorrow so b 
superscript C represent the complement. So in this case, P A plus P B equal to one. Now I want to know the prob probability of e, uh, P A, whether I'll have my breakfast or I'll not have my breakfast. So in this case, we can we can say either I'll go to school tomorrow and I might have my breakfast there or I won't go to school tomorrow and still have my breakfast. So P A can be uh, shown by uh, P A B plus P A B complement and later we can expand this uh, equation uh, using our n, our n formula which we saw it here. So that's what it happens and this equation is very much you are familiar with the weighted average. So in that, that case uh, we we can think these uh, P A given V or P A given V complement as weights and multiplying them with their values to come up with a weighted average. Thank you.